Would you describe yourself as boyfriend and girlfriend? Yes. Uh, what? Oh boy. It's semantics, really, isn't it? <laughs> We've slept together every night for the last three weeks. How would you describe me? The best friend ever. <laughs> Ooh. Well, uh, I guess I've had the wrong idea about us. Wait, you know what? This is good. I'd be better off dating um, an adult. See you around. Michelle. I'll get the breakup for him. I got freaked out by that boyfriend label. I'm afraid of commitment. How original. Look, the biggest truths aren't original. The truth is ketchup. It's Jim Belushi. Its job isn't to blow our minds. It's to be within reach. So the truth is, I get claustrophobic when things get official. You're acting like I'm a Venus flytrap. I didn't want or need more than what we were doing. Let's get back to it. Should I get the door? I can't now because you went to the friend place. That's you getting official, not me. Because unless there's something I need to know about the lunch lady or that blonde in your Spanish class with the infinite supply of leather jackets, somewhere between our ninth and 11th slumber party, statistically speaking, m most people would call us more than pals. Yeah, but soon as you say it, it can get complicated and messy. How? Because when you say it, Later on, you might have to unsay it. Whoopee flippin' ding, winger. It happens 50 million times a day. It's the Jim Belushi of sexual commitments. It barely means anything, and it grows on what's there over time. Boy, that guy's really taking a pounding in this conversation. I'll see you around, Jeff. I really liked what we were doing. And if the ratio of work to pleasure can really stay at that same level, I don't care what it's called. I'll do it. Let's do it. Okay. Okay.